Mm -hmm. um, so one of the <laughs> one of the kind of high pressure situations of this job is I'm I'm presenting to to executives and these are some made up numbers by the way, and they want you know we we, we do monthly trend because we want a lot of you know they want a lot of detail and want your charts. Well, so so check this out. So we start the model at January 2016, and December 22 is the, the final. Period. So that's that's you know that's a lot of months there, and a lot of times, um, you know, you want to just be able to skip ahead one year. So if I'm on January 16, I want to go you know straight to uh, select the whole year. Let's say December 16. So what I've got here is I've got a little macro that I've assigned to the shape. Notice what this did. This should actually say select the year, select year, because then. Without having to scroll over to the left to see my, for example, my 2016 summary, I can ju just use this little macro that selects the next 11 columns. So I've got a full year selected. And then, of course, I can look down here at the bottom at my status bar and see that the sum of that is 41, 53, 118. So I didn't have to go off to the side and do a sum of year 2016 and 2017 and so on. So that is like a super easy macro. It's not something you can really record. So I'm just going to show you what that um, macro looks like. And do we have, let's see, sign macro. So if I go right into edit, it should, of course I have to do a different screen share now on the Google machine. There we go. So this one, it's not plus one year, this is select one year. So if I just want to get a summary of my current cell and then the next 11 months, this is the entire macro. So it's just selection and then the resize, it kind of works like offset. So if you're familiar with offset, this is going to be a really handy macro for you. Uh, so it's just ba it's basically saying take the current cell, resize it by, I love this, this works just like Excel for regular formula arguments. You can kind of just say by no rows and 12 columns. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Uh, if I want to offset one year, I can use a slightly different macro. All right, so once again, um, here let's say I'm on February 16. Select, <laughs> I have to assign the right macro, select one year. I'm on February 2016, select the next 11 months so I see the sum is 4.99 million. We're still looking at the editor. Oh man. I was we'll, we'll correct it in post as they say. Correct that in post and I would so love it if there was a way to not have to keep switching my screens. All right, so once again, select one year. Here I am on January. I click, it automatically selects the next 11 months. Uh, I've been doing a lot of things in the last few weeks, so check it out. We'll have it up on the, on the site.